The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. Brought to you by Nadex. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. We appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. Right now, we have the Dow Industrials up. Uh, up. I'm so used to saying up, man. Down 53. It's take a few months to get out of that one almost the, after yeah. years of. Right? Exactly, <laughs> exactly. The Dow down 51, NASDAQ off 19, S&P's down 3. Gold contract up $1.30, trading at $12.74 an ounce. You have silver down 8 cents, $16.30 an ounce. Uh, light sweet crude up a buck twenty-five, fifty-eight dollars sixty-five cents a barrel. Notes, ten-year note up five ticks, one twenty-four oh six. Thirty-year bond up almost a full point, one fifty-two twenty. Now the uh, the ten-year note saved itself from jumping off the cliff. It was right at the very bottom of the um, range yesterday. Closed at the bottom of the range. And uh, bottom line is that uh, it's helping itself this morning. Okay. Um, 30, 30 uh, is really moving up with conviction. Yeah. So we'll see uh, how this. 28 ticks. Yeah, yeah. how that 10 year does. Uh, King dollar. King dollar is up 138 ticks, trading at 93.140. The euro is at 118 and a half to the US dollar. The yen is at 112 and a half to the US dollar. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. Let's go. Uh, Can we go to oil? Because oil is rocking right now. Absolutely. I don't know. Most of that dollar twenty-five has come in the last hour. Okay, so let's take a look. So uh, oil's up two percent, and we put it this. Are they still meeting in Vienna? Look at that move. Yeah, that's a fast move, man. Just yeah, from yep. eight forty-five this morning, it started spiking. I was getting ready to kind of do the nine o'clock update. That was rocking, and then right. again, I was getting ready to do the 10 o'clock update. I look back at oil, it's rocking again. Going again. Let's go take a look at the ETF, the USO, because that oil contract that I do have is uh, delayed. Um, okay, we can jump to Nadex as yeah, well. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So uh, in the USO, bottom line is that uh, it's going after its high. Well, it's already 1179. Okay. You're at uh, 1174 right now. We hit 11.76, yeah. Right, and you're going to have the volume. Uh, okay. We did uh, 2.5 million already. It's what, it's 10 o'clock in the morning. It sure is. Uh, 9.3 uh, is the number. Uh, if we go take a look at the uh, inside, the rest of that, so you got heating oil is also up 2.3%. Crude's up 2.2. Gasoline is up 1.7. Yep. We take a look at that gasoline market. That's two pennies. So wholesale unleaded right now is a buck 75. Yeah. Look what at, about orange juice? No, we don't have to go into it. But orange oh, juice, man. Where, Trading where, places. What's those where, orange where, juice? Where Mr. Where, Beaks, what's going on? Where, oh, like, look at this. Okay. The big so, gainer for the day. Look at that. Who's Two, buying in that pit? No, seriously, <laughs> man. Uh, a 164. Look at that move, It is man. funny because, uh, you know... Our man Larry Pesavento, he just did his awesome program, but yeah. he starts it off with the trading places. I love and, that. And I can't help but think, anytime I hear about orange juice futures. Totally. My head goes right to that movie, man. It's totally. just pretty cool. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. Now, and uh, so check this out, folks. Bitcoin. Cool. Bitcoin is action on uh, December 18th. And it's um, December 1st. Pretty yeah, exactly. Crazy. Exactly. Uh, here she is. So CME and the CBO uh, are going to offer Bitcoin future contracts. The uh, CME, the world's largest exchange owner and the smaller venue, uh, CBOE, are known for the VIX volatility products, uh, were allowed to offer the products after pledging to U.S. regulators that they will comply with the law. Whatever uh, that means. What is well, that? Well, listen, no, go ahead, when yeah. we go through this, this is going to be pretty cool yeah. to understand. Because as regular, just rush to catch up, right? That's the second part of it. Yeah, well, yeah. what's also happening is that, wait, wait, let me read okay. this, okay? So the CME is going to be begin on December 18th. Uh, well, the CBOE said it is operationally ready and would announce a start date soon. Uh, Cantor Exchange, a subsidiary of Cantor Fitzgerald, Cantor Fitzgerald started out as a big bond house, and now they're just a huge trading house. Okay. They're going to offer Bitcoin binary options. Oh, boy. Binary options. Okay. Oh, boy. So now check this out, folks. As, we, as, wild, wild as, as we move on, okay, this is going to be pretty down. cool. Okay. 
So they, just, yeah, look at that spike that it had though, even overnight. What is that? 9,400 to 10,6. But okay, go ahead. Okay. Pretty so, so the uh, it's go it goes on that the moves are a watershed for Wall Street professionals, including institutional investors and high-speed traders who've been eager to bet on the crypto cryptocurrencies and their wild swings. Um, now, when you go down a little bit further, what you're going to see that the CME. So check this out. This is pretty wild. The CME. Let's get this sure. straight. Sure. Is this uh, under the process called self-certification? The exchanges assured the CFTC that the new products complied with the rules. Yeah. Well, yeah, the self-certification. Well, it doesn't technically require CFTC there. approval. The regulator could have stayed their plans if they weren't satisfied. Isn't that a trip? Yeah, so they must so, have been satisfied. Right? Yeah, but the CME is that powerful that sure. they can make their own future contracts, period. They can, they, they, they can, but they still need approval that they're satisfied with their plan to self-regulate. That's, that's right. The facts. That's right. Let's get the facts right. out there. Well, you know? it, it, it doesn't technically require a CTFC approval. Okay. Yeah. You know. So there it, we go. Yeah. yeah. No. True. Yeah. True so the the bottom line is. What's even go? What does that even mean? I'm lost now. Right. I, no. I, I know. So what are they even in the conversation for? If it says we don't need them. They were they were nice enough to say to them, hey, this is what we're going to do. This is how it's going to work. We're going to stay within it. the law. Okay. It's it's a couple paragraphs in there. But see, then even there, it's like stay within the law. They are staying within the law. But then why are you even telling them that, right? Wall Street's I, quite a trip, man. It's like you know, no I mean, you, you phrased it perfectly. They were nice enough. It's like, yeah. oh, well, oh that's, how that's, nice of them to do it, even though they didn't need to. Whatever totally. that means. Now, so check this out. This is where it's going to get really wild, folks. Okay. Let's get down here because while I was reading this the the question's going to be what is that's a bitcoin so for, for tax purposes yeah and that's a, this is I think where yeah. so let's let's read it all this is yeah. interesting so right US financial regulators have struggled for years to agree on what exactly bitcoin is what yeah. risks it might pose that's left the enthusiasts and financial professionals unsure which government agencies might try to police the rapidly growing market in addition to the CFTC there's the SEC, the IRS, the Treasury Department. Um, so CFTC declared in 2015 it would treat Bitcoin as a commodity. Right. Interesting, because some people call it a currency, right? I'm yeah. sure we're going to go there. But the IRS says it's property. The SEC said some digital is currency, is a security. The FNC says, F, the FinCEN says it's a digital currency, money-like instrument. Uh, I'm just going, this company's trying to work with all of them, said while well, offering its own definition, it's a new asset class. It's okay, so watch this. But no, let's stay yeah. right there. Yep. Because what would happen is this. If it's money, yep. right, the IRS wouldn't be able to tax it. Okay. This would be so weird about it. Okay. Because it's just like our dollar. We still have a dollar. You still have a Bitcoin. Sure. But what about currency trading? You pay taxes on currency. If I'm buying a euro and I'm selling it, <laughs> am I paying taxes on currency gains? Yes, but okay. watch what happens okay. there. That, that is... You're taking, like if I'm trading the euro, right? Yes. I'm buying the euro at one point, I'm selling it at another point, right? Yes. The currency it would be just like the U.S. dollar. So if I, if, I, if I have dollars, right? Yes. And the dollars just accelerate and are worth more money, I can buy more things with them? Yes. We don't pay, we don't pay on that. We pay on the property that we buy. Sure. Okay. So this is where this is going to get like, okay, what yeah, is it? No, it is. There's going to be a fight in there. Oh, you know for what sure. I mean? Yeah. Because I don't know what the difference is on a property or a commodity. Sure. No. You I know what I mean? Yeah. Um, we'll I, have to bring our man John Jameson back on here because I'm yeah. sure he knows some of it. Isn't it wild though? Sure. I mean, so this is uh, it's going to be pretty wild, man. Because part of that, you know, John, he lives in the Isle of Man. Yeah. Talk about taxes and how that comes in. No um, taxes, right? That's a big difference for yeah. sure. Um, for sure. And so we go over to Bitcoin right now. There you go. It's trading 10,442. Hey, we'll see 11,000 by the end of the hour. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, man. <laughs> Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. 877-927-6648. Be right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will 
will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. We take your phone calls now. 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 Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. So there you go. Give it a few minutes. Uh, S&Ps right now are, are in the green, up uh, a buck and a half. You have the uh, Dow Industrials flat. NASDAQ is uh, down seven. So let's just go over here and see what uh, just get rocking. put some juice into the into this baby. Um, uh, I guess, you know, it, was, it wasn't it was down that much. But bottom line is that once it gets positive... Uh, it's, it's a far cry from where we were in that overnight session. Yeah. Right? And I say overnight, that's only 6 in the morning. Most right. traders are up at 6 in the morning. Oh, definitely. And you're talking about 20 S&P points. Right. That's quite a right. move, man. The market was down a lot, you know, in, in, at 6 a.m. It was. Yeah. And, well, you know what was intriguing is that coming into the close yesterday, and I got a call on this uh, earlier. Let's bring up the VIX uh, at the end yeah. of the show yesterday. What had happened, folks, see, the VIX is staying elevated. I know. What had happened yesterday, which is very unusual, is that you had the S&P. So if we look at the S&P, when we came into the close yesterday, the S&P went up 10 points within... I'm going to put this in two days so you sure. can see this. Coming into the close yesterday, there it is right there. Yep. So the S&P went from 2643 up to 2651 yep. within 10 minutes. Yep. And into the close, it went from 2651 down to 2640. Yep. 11 points that come yep. down. So the thing that's really wild is like, it's like how do the option market makers know that well, I guess people were buying insurance, and that's why the VIX was staying high all day long. And look at those volume spikes on that movement. Too. Oh, I know. It I mean, was huge. Yeah, no volume all day, which is intriguing on the type of market action you've been getting. That's right. And then, yeah, right. Then you had the players come in. Yeah. And really, and they came in at the peak. Yeah. Because they didn't come in in this bar, I'm just, which is right. the up bar. Right. At, at 1540, 340. Right. But 350, when right. it starts spiking down, that's when the volume came in. It did. Yeah. And... You know, they were right this morning if they closed it. That way, I, when I woke up this morning, I said, look at that, man. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's like, okay, whoever's selling it there, were they selling it down all night long? Is sure. that what they're trying to do? Sure. 
Um, you know, but the so what does happen, folks, is that inside the VIX, the premium stayed up because you know, of that. Sure. Yeah. Uh, you know. Can you go to the chart of the VIX and yeah? Where like do you see a, this? This this see. gets more bizarre. So look at this. When the Dow was at its high. Yeah. The VIX was at its high, which yeah. totally and is counterintuitive. And when the S&P was at its high, right? Yeah. That's it versus the Dow. The, the, no, the, they, they, because all of them has the S&P. Exactly. That's right. This is based that's on the That's what we're looking at, though, the S&P. Right. Exactly. But that's counterintuitive. I totally agree. Isn't Listen, that I, I kept pulling up to do the hourly updates, and I had to do like a head fake, where I right. was like, okay, the VIX keeps going up here, but yet, and the, the market is, is going like up. having right. a monumental day. Right. Um, what is going on? But right. guess what? Maybe people were saying, okay, maybe this is the high. Maybe the high is the rhetoric around yeah. no, no, the I'm, Senate passing the bill, McCain right. being on board, right. market spikes 350, right. and people are saying, hold on, I need a little insurance here yes. <laughs> because no, the market no. might be, this that, might be that last exhaustion. You know, people have been talking about for a while. Right. Maybe the, the moment the tax bill gets passed, maybe everything's factored in and that right. might be the high for a little while. Yeah. Um, well, may, maybe the moment that uh, Flynn pleads guilty at 1030. <laughs> um, very well could be a big deal also. <laughs> we'll see what happens. <laughs> so uh, Flynn, is, is, they've got him, let's see, well, uh, one charge of, you know what's amazing? It's like... I'm lying to the FBI, right? You know, folks, okay, you know, I've given out, well, I know how many constitutions I've given out because yeah. I bought 7,500 of them and yeah. we only got about... Uh, we got like 20 left. Yeah, right. right. Yeah. So what blows my mind, and I'm not... You know, oh, yeah, I'm this not, has nothing to do with this. Go Flynn, for it. I know where you're going. That, you never should be talking to feds anyway. You, you know, you have a right to not to talk to anyone. It's like, why, why Get talk to lawyer, anyone? You yeah. know, this is just you, you, a straight constitutional rights agreement. Exactly. People are just, unfortunately, they feel the need to, you know, to think they're smarter than everybody. I know. This is one of those instances. Um, because what a lot of people don't know is, you know, and guess what? Martha Stewart knows it. You know, and so, you, know right. you lie to the feds, no matter what you've done else, that is a federal crime. Right, <laughs> right. And I have to laugh because it's just, it's so serious. Um, you you, sh you really should never be talking to the feds without a lawyer. Straight, ever. You know, yeah. Ever. ever. You shouldn't just talk to a cop without a lawyer. I mean, yeah. they, you know, there's a, there's a program. I watched it out of it about four or five years ago. It was one of the PBS programs, and it was great. It actually showed that there were, the, they showed the examples of five or six people that were totally innocent that actually talked to. So I've sent YouTube videos around. There's a great uh, professor that goes through uh, it. Maybe you're talking about this oh, as maybe. well. Yeah. yeah. So what it speaks to is, and it's not about, if you're guilty. This is about if right. you're innocent. So right. this isn't about like protecting yourself if you've committed crimes. Right. You know, because people are like, oh, you should always... No. And so what people have a habit to do, and we'll just summarize it real quick, yeah. is that they have a habit to um, exaggerate the truth, okay. to try and get the FBI or the investigators or okay. cops to believe them, because okay. they're so sure they are innocent, okay. which they are, yeah. that they say, um, quick example, you know, the, the cop or the investigator will say, um, were you in Boston on September 29th, right? Okay. And you weren't, right. okay? You right. weren't. You had nothing to do with it. Right. And you'll say, no, I wasn't there in Boston um, in September. You know, I haven't, I haven't been there actually in the last year. I haven't been there in two years. I'm oh. never in Boston. You know what? I've never been to Boston in my life. Oh, my God. And meanwhile, okay. in your head, you're like, That's what I, you're thinking. I just want him to understand oh. I wasn't there. I'm right. definitely innocent. Right. Meanwhile, guess what? Oh, they have you in Boston in January, yep. in April, in May. Right. Now they have you lying. Now they get to say to the jury, wow. this person was lying. Three times they've been to Boston. Right. They told us they've never been there. Right. Meanwhile, if you're talking to the feds, you've lied. Now you've committed a crime. Right. If you're just talking to the cops, right. now they get to present that you're lying to them. What yep. are you hiding? Why are right. you lying? Wow. Meanwhile, you're an innocent person, and you've gone in front of, you yep. know, and you've, you've now in, almost incriminated yourself where you've lied to the cops. Yeah, you got a new Quick crime. example of what, you know, and so it really yeah. went to innocent people. Right. And how you have, and that's what it tends to do. It's that you exaggerate the truth okay. to get the cops or whoever's asking you Sick. to to just understand that you yeah, are innocent. Right. Meanwhile, you've now lied and you look guilty. Yeah. It's just a quick so just really um, yeah. and everything depends on context, of course. But I, that's a quick that's a quick example of they, how you should be very careful because guess what? Very rarely will anything be used for your behalf. So it's a it's a lose lose situation. Yeah, you have no win. Yeah. And that, it, yeah. So that is the video because that's what he it ends. Is. That's, how it, that's, how, that's how that's how he ends the great. program. Yeah. Also, right? That's yeah. what he says. Yes. That you have nothing to win here yeah. and everything to lose. Yes. Right. Right. Yeah. So there you go. That's get, a tidbit of advice. Oh, if only Michael Flynn had been listening to the program. I know. <laughs> See, I mean, it's crazy, man. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Anyway. Um,
Let's go take a look uh, inside the Dow Industrial. So the Dow Industrial's uh, quite a day yesterday. There's no doubt about that. Oh, Those uh, I had to do a double take. 345, 360, whatever it was. It's hey, poof. Now today, uh, Goldman is putting five positive points. Caterpillar five. Johnson Johnson five. Taken away from it as you get 3M minus 15. United Health minus nine. Uh, Visa minus eight. Inside the uh, NDX 100. Let's go take a look. Inside the NDX, the strength out here uh, today is Mylan Pharmaceuticals up 3.4. Ray Generon's up uh, 2.1. Uh, taken away from it is Ultra Salon. That's down uh, 5.2. They come out with their numbers. So oh check boy. this out. And Ulta's probably a big ABC down. So watch this. this We've talked about them many times. Yeah. They're in a business that can be replicated right. very simply. People know what kind of products they like. You yeah. know, that's they can get them delivered. Go yeah. ahead. Yeah, it's so you get a high volume low here at 189. 187 you know you gap down again when you pull this back you're gonna see that this has been in quite a downtrend you know 314 bucks you're at 209 I mean we've that, you know if you've been to Vegas you've seen that Alta salon shop on the strip man yeah. I cannot imagine the rent they have to pay for that oh. and and guess what Amazon's not paying that type of rent just for a storefront no and they're selling the same products right stay right there folks Tommy and I are coming right back we have the Dow Industrials right now up one NASDAQ is down 7, S&P is a flat. Coming right back. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC-insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. Everbank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. Everbank Bank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender. Hi folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then and head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal-clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal-clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back. 
right, folks, the Dow Industrials right now are up two. You get the Nasdaq down 10, S&Ps are flat. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman. And don't forget, folks, every trading day right here, 12 to 1 Eastern Standard Time, Basil's got an outstanding show. Uh, call in, will ride you through those waves. Tiger technicians hour, It's baby. a beautiful thing. And uh, a week from today, a week from today, Basil's going to be out here uh, doing uh, basically eight hours of education. Uh, when the markets are opened, uh, riding into that wave. Master class, totally. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. Hi, Tommy. How are you guys? Morning, Basil. Morning. How you doing, man? Very good. We've got uh, amazing weather here. It's a little cool, but wow, to believe that we've begun December. Is it beautiful? And there's no snow on the ground. It really is very nice. That is awesome. Yeah. Anytime you can stretch it, right? Keep stretching it because then oh. you get into January, you get into February, and then you can handle a month or two. I'm already you... feeling the spring. The perfect. <laughs> That's cool. the attitude, it's, man. It's the truth, right? It's, it's nice. It is. You know? It is. So, Basil, a week from today, Friday, you're going to yes. be having a class for students um, starting at 9 o'clock, half hour before the market, going until 4.30. Talk to us a little bit about what you're going to be talking about with your students in there. Well, you know, when, when uh, Tom and I met way back in New Hampshire, uh, back in early 2000, uh, we spoke about the markets and all, and I said, you know, and he asked me if I would like to join TFN, and I said, if it's an educational uh, situation, I, I'm all for it, because I already have a newsletter, I... I and he said, absolutely. And, you know, that's exactly what it's been. We're all about education here. And that's really what I love to do. So I've got my CD, Introducing the Chapman Wave Methodology, CD book. And that's going to be one of the, uh, one of the benefits that uh, anyone who's subscribing and attending this we webinar will get. Um, I will be following them. They've got at least a month afterwards to go through whatever it is we've discussed. I'll go back. I'll get back to them and discuss it with them. But what's really interesting is, Within the chat, we, we're seeing the proof of the techniques as we, we're going through the markets over the last week. So I'll be discussing. I'll How just about go over, the, over the last five years, you've seen the proof itself, <laughs> peak after peak after Thank peak, right? <laughs> Thank you. What I, I really truth. wanted to show you just uh, briefly here is, so we're going to be talking trend lines. Just have a look at this. You, it's got a black background. So it's a little difficult to see, but this is the S&P going back back to the early 90s look at this beautiful up channel that's pretty amazing that really is look at the beautiful down channel it goes that goes to the high of 1552 uh back i think it was i can't see right now 98 and then it comes back down yeah and it starts a brand new move up look at that channel and it goes to the high of Crazy. 2007 and then it comes back down uh, to the 666 low and look at this channel we've been in. This is like so a double banger, this channel. Holy cow. And now look at this. Yeah, in fact, it's, it's exactly that because it had, it's had three buy modes in it. And this leg D broke above yeah, look at that. that trend line, that yellow trend line. So I'm going to be discussing the importance of trend lines. Even more important than that, the techniques we discuss, I'll go here, trend lines, channel lines. Within that, you saw there was a channel line. I've developed something over the years that's called an inside track. You know, when people talk about channels, you're really looking at the outer, uh, outer lines that are the price point of resistance and price point of support. What I developed was within... I like, even though you're talking months and years, I like to say three sixteenths of an inch is really what we're looking at because the producers, I'll just go back to this particular chart right here. Um, it produces something that within the context of what you're looking at, it gives you fabulous, if I can find it, it gives you fabulous price points. There it is. Look at all price those beautiful points. slides you're going to be going through. Yeah, go ahead. A, I, I'm working on it. I can't, I can't. I have to stop myself because I, there's so many slides. But I'm, everyone is an explanation from the very beginning. So if you're new to, to charting, new to trend lines, I'm going to show you. Look, this important yellow line here had a red line within it. That red line I call the inside track. And what it says is every time the price gets back into that range, it gets reversed. This is the first time it's broken above it. That's very important. What we're starting to see now is a new angle of ascent. We're at about 63 degrees. Yeah. When I, I look at these angles, and they're usually three forms, it goes from like 25% for a long time. Then all of a sudden, you get your acceleration to about 45%. Then you get 60%, and that can go even to 80 or 90, where it goes parabolic. So I'm going to be discussing what those trend lines are. I was going to say, it's are. almost a vertical line we're approaching here, Basil. <laughs> it, you know, it, it, it looks like it, but look, here's the importance of a trend line. I spoke to Tom about this yesterday. This is a stock called Masco. So it doesn't even matter what the stock is. You go back to 
uh, October of 2016. Look at this red line. It became extreme resistance all the way into May of 2018. Then it became support in 2018. Then it breaks in August, it comes back down. And for all of 2017 into 2018, it couldn't really break decisively. And so this is a daily chart yeah. until three days ago, it spiked above it. I could easily draw another channel line right there sure. and another channel right here. And we're just about to bump into the upper one. So it's the importance of a simple technique. I'm going to be talking about the cap formation, you know, the stocks that we have for my opening call. Now, those people who did my webinar just a Monday, a week ago, we, we've had some particular um, uh, stocks that have followed very nicely the patterns that we're looking at. I'm going to be discussing, yes, the Dow, we went long for a second time. We're in long shorter term at about 20, I think it was 23,400. And what we're looking at here is we're up at 24,278. But look at the MACD, how it crossed positive. That's a technique I'm going to be teaching. The stochastic ran all the way now to 95%. So it's holding strong in the Chapman Wave methodology. Another slide I always show. I'll slide it. You look for four higher peaks at the fourth higher peak, D. I label them D. Other things can happen. Let me move this away, show you something really fascinating. Look at these are the stocks that we have. GM, we had we have a longer term position from the 34s. It hit 45. We had a shorter term position, which hit a peak D. D is I just showed you where you've got to be careful at 4335. Boom, it comes down, we took our profits. If you look at the other stocks that we have, AKS is one I spoke to Tom about last week. I said, we bought this, it's a steel stock, and I bought it purely on the technicals because technically it's not one of the best of the steel stocks. We bought it at 466, it's trading at 503 in leg C. Leg C is what we saw in the Dow and the S&P. We've seen that, I'm anticipating this should be in the chaff wave, a leg D, especially when you're going to all-time highs. I'm not sure if it'll work out, but by next week, we should be making that leg D. So these are the examples. Just that, These are live examples. It's not something that I'm going back and just trying to find charts and that worked out. What I was going to say is quite a market for a live class for a full day. Right. I mean, I anticipate right. that we'll see some market action net next, next week, week. We, right? Absolutely. We almost have the Senate right. possibly voting today. That's going to go back to the House. They're going to have conference next week. The market's going to be reacting to that. And um, then we'll have our Ds, hopefully, in these targets. We can start making other decisions. I, it just it, the, per, the timing last week on Monday was perfect for the new entries. And this coming week is going to be the week. And I spoke about how important the peak D is. Look at this, the SMHs. The semiconductor, I think there's a real problem in the tech sector. There's your peak D. Look at that pullback. And it's possibly a peak D in the week chart. Wow. Right. Yeah, I think that is in a rotation and a big decision I'll be discussing with the webinar participants and my subscribers. What are we going to do? Is there going to be a rotation to buoy the market to keep it higher? Or now we're looking at a really overbought situation. All that right. Pulls and back. folks, you can come right over to our website at TFNN. You'll see it right in the top of the carousel. You can sign up right now, get the newsletter, get his book, be in the workshop. I'm going to be in next there Friday. Week. You're going to be a beautiful in. thing. That's right. Basil, you have a great one, a safe one. Of course, we look forward to the show at noon. Thank you very much. See Thanks, you a Basil. Later. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of tfnn.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. It's that time of year again. The TFNN Salvation Army Tiger Dollar Holiday Sale is back. Through this Sunday only, you can get a 25% bonus on any Tiger Dollar purchase. And up to 10% of whatever you spend will be donated to the Salvation Army in your name. This sale only comes around once a year and is one of the most rewarding promotions we have. 
Tiger dollars are a great way to add extra savings to any TFNN product or service. Whether you're considering signing up for any newsletter or workshop in the future, or you're already a subscriber, Tiger Dollars offer an immediate savings on any TFNN newsletter, webinar, workshop, or master trader series. And they never expire and are fully transferable to friends and family. For all the details and to take part in this special promotion, visit the front page of TFNN.com before this sale ends Sunday, December 3rd. And happy holidays from TFNN. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long long term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light speed world of ever evolving high tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN. TFNN, live on your mobile device, 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now is up 13. You get the NASDAQ down 8. S&P's a flat. And as you do come over to our website at TFNN, folks, uh, you know, we just talked about Basel, uh, his Master Trader Series next Friday. Um, guess what? It's December 1st. And December 3rd, um, if you want to save uh, or you make 25% on your money, um, bottom line, Tiger Dollar sale is over this Sunday night. This weekend, baby. That's yep. it. We're in December. Um, so Salvation Army Tiger Dollar sale, you get a 25% bonus on anything you spend. You got a minimum of $500, but you can name your price, any price, as in, you know, if you want $795 for a gold report. Yeah. I sent out an email yesterday. I think you purchased something like 636 You get to name, you know, so you okay. can really peg exactly what you want. Because um, normally they're only offered in three increments, 500 right. 1000 or 1500 okay. And, you know, if you're a subscriber, you can spend it, but it is nice where you can kind of just peg the exact amount you want. Right. So 25% bonus and up to 10% of whatever you spend on top of that gets donated to the Salvation, Salvation Army in your name. Uh, great promotion. We do it every year. And this one we're doing a little bit earlier. We'll get that money over to the Salvation Army in early in December. And maybe they can put it to use in December, January, sure. whenever right. it comes in, right? right. Um, so check that out. And, you know, if you're thinking of signing up for Basil's course, bottom line is... You know, you purchase 500, you end up with 625. So the right. price is 595. Guess what? You can get in there for 500, and 25 dollars of that 500 will be donated right to the Salvation Army in your name. So you're almost down to 475 for Basil. Right. Then you get his newsletter for 128. You get the book for 249, and you get a full day of class. And that's going to be archived. You all have access to that archive for Basil the whole day. Um, and whatever your subscriber, Market Insights, Gold Report, right. Mastering Probability, right? You know, exactly. Path of Least Resistance, right. um, TAS Profile Scanner, anything out there, you should check out Tiger Dollars because immediately, you know, you got a great savings. You spend 1000 you get 1250 right. and 100 of that gets donated to the Salvation Army. I mean, they're big numbers when you, when you look at them. And yeah. if you're already spending money, I encourage people to check it out through this weekend. Great promotion, always. It's uh, December. December 1st, baby, we're here. They gotta be psyched in Boston. That's, like Basil that's said, nice he's feeling spring already. That's the attitude, man. Yeah. <laughs> now, <laughs> right? and as we. Next up. You know, as we, we, we go back to Bitcoin. Gotta go back to Bitcoin. Because now we know what the margins are, also, folks. The margins are gonna be 33 to 35%. Yeah. The so, initial margins. Yes. Um, at the CME. And, you know, I said, Tommy, that's not bad. That's, you know, that's, no, that you seems know. pretty yeah. um, fair For contract, and, yeah. and appropriate. Fair right. and appropriate right. because we 20% you'd laugh at because we know right. Bitcoin can tank 20%. Right. Right. And realistically, 33% might be an achievable number on a daily oh, basis. It, it is um, definitely as an achievable I just, number. Just, you know, yeah. um, but 
that seems pretty fair in terms of for a daily move, 35%, they're saying that seems pretty appropriate to where maybe the risk will, will make sense. Right. Now, just to give you an idea, um, we got to do the math on this one. What okay, do you do? So just, just tie, wait, fought, let's sure. say 5,000 uh, into 132,000. Let's tie people into what we're looking so at the, here. So the S&Ps, right, and yes. when you're trading the futures there, you put up 5,000, or 49.50 to be exact, Yes. and you're rolling with 132,400. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So the contract value is one hundred thirty-two thousand. Right. You know, you only so need five thousand dollars to protect that. Yeah, it's about three, right. three, three percent almost. Right. Um, right. On no three, four. Yeah, yeah, three and a half three percent. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right. Versus multiply times ten. Third. But yeah. guess what? Um, <laughs> the VIX is not the S and P, man. As in, you know, I'm just VIX. No, not the VIX. I mean, I'm sorry, Bitcoin. 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 No, no, for Thank sure. You. Yes, for no. sure. I, you know, the. the Let's go back to Bitcoin. Let's go back. 33 is not that. That's not bad, man. It's you know? like, it really so seems fair and appropriate. Right, right now, you're like putting a... up like 30, 3,500 per contract. So let's just look at some of the pullbacks here. We had a high of 7,900, we'll call it. Yeah. <laughs> down to 5,600. So what's that? 2,300. 816, 24. So that's about 30%. Right there. Okay. I mean, that's, yeah. that's, and this is, you know, this is what they looked at right. as they're doing it. You know, you want to make sure that you can encompass anything. And let's just look at on this one day. You had it from 11.4 to 9,000. So you're talking about 1,400 points off the low. So that's about 15% in a day. Um, this was a move that took four or five days, though. So they've made sure that. It's larger than any move we've currently seen, at least. Right. But they would want it to at least be that, because as it rises, you might see a pullback. I mean, we're at 10.5 right now. So, you know, you're talking about could it could it pull back 3,500 points? Could it pull back to 7,000? Yes, well, this, I would say it could. Yeah, well, this is where it, also what's going to happen, folks, is that we, let me see if I can find the hours in there. What are the hours of operation oh, per point. contract? Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? So, I'm uh, just going to scroll quickly yeah. as... This is good, it. though. All this information's coming out, man. Yeah, nothing there, but that's a great point. Yeah. Where's the opening bar? Where's the opening Where's and the close? Opening price? Where's going to be open and close? Exactly. And I, I bet they're just going to pick a, a time. Yeah, they are. And that's, oh, know, they are. But what's intriguing is that's a meaningless time. Right? It's all arbitrary. It's totally. Totally. But that time might become more significant if now the futures it, it, are going to determine it will. They will the, be the price. Yeah. 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 So let's go over and we'll take a look at the uh, silver market out here. Silver right now is down 7 tenths of 1%. You're trading at uh, $16.36 for some of the Tigers out here. And, um, you know, this trade under the 16.43 is a problem. Um, that's the bottom line. That's, that's a high volume low. You got another one at 16.29, which, you know, we went to 16.26. I mean, silver's got some volatility. What's the, can we, can we dig, what's the contract, because, uh, man, yeah, silver moves 10%. So silver is much bigger. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, so silver, see the difference? Look there at you this. Go. Six, 64. For, 90 for, for 81,000. 81, so it's that 8% maybe, yeah. something like different, that. Different ballgame. Um, and it would make sense because I was right. just looking. I mean, over right. the course of four or five days, it's moving 10%. So they right. got to protect themselves. Well, yeah. watch this. I, when I used to really trade natural gas a lot, I used to have to put up 10,000. When And what is the contract value on that? Uh, no, it's a, lot, it's a lot less now. So I'm curious to sure. see because that was about five years ago. Yeah. So now you only put up 2,400 for, for 30,000. Okay. That seems like a little one. I mean, what did it... No, that it, is, it, because the, the volatility's got a lot less, because watch well, this. Well, you see that. It moved like 20 cents yesterday. Almost. No, no, I, I know, but... <laughs> yesterday when, was a big... When, least... when it was 10K, watch this. This is... Oh, yeah, no, we're... This at, was when like... It was like, at, what, 7 or 8 or something? Yeah, it was. It was. Oh, even up, more, right? It was yeah. up here. Yeah. You know, look at that. I mean, it went from 790 to 12. Uh... Is that a, that's a, well, that's a monthly. Then yeah. it went all the way up to 11. To get, but still. It was all right. in here. So that was, yeah. yeah. My God, I can't even believe it's 2005. Oh, that's 2018. Yeah, that's probably when it was. I'm telling you, man, time's a weird thing. It 2018, is. coming at us, baby. Oh, my God. Coming at I'm us. telling you. And folks, if you haven't test drove uh, the Nadex platform, <laughs> on, you know, you, know it's, you come over to our website, you can hit that banner, bring up the exchange. Um, I'm just going to pull up crude oil. It's great. Yeah. They have the live quotes in here, right? right? Get your demo account up here. Yeah. You can see the live quotes. What are we at in oil? 58.70 about. We're looking at the January contract. What's great is, you know, you don't even have live on Bloomberg. you got to pay for them, of I course, know. like everybody I else know. in the world. Um, but you go right into Nadex, man. Live quotes. Quite a run oil has had. Check that out. So even this morning, we're down about 57.80. Yep. Uh, that's only 8.30 this morning. And we're up a whole dollar since then. And pulling it back even more. I mean, check out this run it's had. Yeah. This is only going back to yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. So 1.30 in the afternoon, we're $57, $2 run. 
I mean, you're talking about selling millions of millions of barrels a day. Two dollar a day run in 24 hours, and the price of oil. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. Pretty amazing. It is. You stay right there, folks. Tommy and I come right back. Don't forget, you get our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, next week, next Friday. Uh, Tiger Dollars. Tiger Dollars, uh, bottom line, that promotion is over uh, this coming Sunday night, folks. Uh, Dow, oh, there she goes. She's moving. <laughs> Dow's up 37. NASDAQ is uh, down four. S&Ps are up a buck and a half. We're coming right back, folks. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has put together the finest programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast eight hours a day starting at 9 a.m. as Larry Pesavento kicks us off with Trade What You See. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour following the Tom O'Brien Show. Swim Lessons from TD Ameritrade, Think or Swim, is now at 11 a.m. Followed by Basil Chapman at 12 noon. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts and keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN.com, educating investors. Learn how to trade options with Swim Lessons. Brought to you by TD Ameritrade, Think or Swim, next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. Uh, let's go over and take a look at that Dow. So the Dow right now, this shit, look at that, man. So the high, intraday high yesterday, 24,327. New high, baby. Um, oh, no, 322. We're yeah. five off. Okay. Yeah. It, it's it's going to have to make oh, it. It's, it's Friday, right? It's Friday. It's the end of the week. Like they're saying it's in the, the den, beginning of the month. 700 points to Dow 25K, man. No yeah. joke. We'll be there tomorrow. And that, well, that won't. That won't take much with these high high price stocks, you know, because when I was looking sure. at it yesterday, every the first four stocks up there are all two hundred and twenty to two hundred fifty dollars stocks. Correct. You know, so yes. um, price weighted doesn't now, take long. The one I want to keep an eye on here, folks, is is Goldman, and this is why, because Goldman actually failed testing the high on the monthly. So the price okay. point was two fifty seventy. Okay. You had volume of 227 million. Okay. The end of the month was yesterday. We hit 
two fifty seventy nine. Okay. With fifty four million, and you closed at two forty seven sixty four. So that's going to be intriguing. Just watching that, you know, sure. like it, that's that's a major failure. Sure. You know, and the real question is going to be, you know, uh, is that just going to double up again? As one of the tigers said, uh, he thinks it's going to three fifty. So. Well, we'll find out. Why they, not, man? Go, hey, listen, why not? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you got to laugh. It's they, quite, quite a run. Well, maybe they'll be trading Bitcoin and Jamie Dimon won't. I, I suspect Jamie Dimon is going to slam uh, Bitcoin, uh, give it a couple days on the CME. Because, you know, but he's got plenty of trades. He's got, they got plenty of bucks. Test out. Yeah, test kind of out what his it theory. Can take, right? Right, right, exactly. No, exactly. Sure. The banks, because in, oh, that, in, that yeah. in that same article that we were reading, uh, that Tommy and I were reading, folks, the banks have no restrictions. They can, they can, they can trade it. That's what sure. it was saying in there also. Sure. So, so they will Stretch trade it. Stretch the limits. See how much Stretch it. Stretch, Stretch it, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Stay right there, folks. We got uh, uh, Think of Swim coming up next. Uh, then I'm in Mr. Basil Chapman, Steve Rhodes, Dave White. I'll be back this afternoon. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Sherman Williams is doing his job. It's going to be all green, <laughs> folks. Thanks, pal. Thanks, man. I'll go get him, folks. Basil Chapman will be hosting a full-day master trader class Friday, December 8th from 9 a.m. until 4.30 p.m. This live seven-and-a-half-hour online class will teach you the complete concepts of Basil's Chapman Wave trading methodology along with a variety of indicators and charting patterns that Basil uses on a daily basis, including the concept of higher peaks and lower troughs, the importance of the peak D, buy and sell modes, sustaining rallies and declines, MACD, stochastic, moving averages, on balance volume, and much more. Everyone that attends will also receive Basil's CD book introducing the Chapman Wave methodology, a $249 value, along with one month of his daily trading newsletter, The Opening Call, a $128 value. Basil will be using live charts where and when possible in the webinar to show the concepts of his trading methodology, which works on all time frames. For all the details and to reserve your spot today, visit the front page of TFNN.com.